as you can see, I have dirt in my fridge. Yes, I do. It is not spring here yet. Definitely not. Hi, everybody. Great to see you. It's Debbie. I'm getting ready for gardening season. I've been on the seed hunt. It's really cold here in Canada, and I hope that you're all doing okay. Let me know in the comments down below what, what it's been like in your neck of the woods. We're gonna make gardening a lot easier with a few health tips. Now here's a tip for anybody who has to save dahlias over the winter. I've had problems in the past borrowing garages, trying to keep the temperature right. This year I got this brainstorm that I would use our guest suite fridge for the dahlias. And it's remarkable because I can keep the temperature set to exactly what I want so they, they don't freeze, they don't get too warm and start growing. So as you can see, I have dirt in my fridge. Yes, I do, but I'm a house cleaner for a living, so I will remedy this. So if you have bad hands like me, they're, they're absolutely, they're, they're horrible. They're very dry. I'm a, a house cleaner, I'm a gardener, everything is hard on my hands. I've tried every hand cream on the market, I can assure you, and uh, nothing seems to do quite as good as this wrinkle cream, basically. They're better, they're better. Try it, a little bit of wrinkle cream on your hands. It'll maybe keep your hands from aging as well. I mean, our hands do a lot of work. Now this is where the magic happens. I'm really looking forward to seeing them all grow up. And I'm not gonna show you how to plant seed trays. Easy peasy, throw some dirt in, look at the package and just do it. Just, you know, just do it. One thing I do wanna show you though, is that if you buy the boot trays that you would usually put your outer wear on, they're a lot stiffer and better for your seed trays. You can get them at the dollar store and you know they're easy to lift and carry because they're nice and stiff a lot more waterproof a lot more sturdy they don't crack as easy the last few years and years so i would highly recommend this you can use them for your boots later if you can't wait to get growing then pick yourself up some mung beans from your local grocery store. Doesn't matter what brand, I'm not gonna say what brand this one is. <laughs> pick yourself up a mason jar. This is a smaller one, like about 500 mils, I guess. I've got a plastic lid that you can purchase from the store. I took a nail, I poked holes in it. You only need two tablespoons of the beans in this size jar, and then fill it up with water. Let it sit for about two hours and then drain off the water through the holes. Put it in a bright location, doesn't have to be direct sun, just a bright location. Every day rinse them. Leave them on the side like this so that you get more area for the beans to grow and also more sunlight into the jar or more light into the jar. Like I said, you don't need direct light. Very delicious, great for sandwiches, great for just eating straight out of the jar. I love them. And it takes just days for them to grow, literally. And you can keep on doing this all through the winter to provide yourself with a great little garden right on your kitchen counter. Seeds are so hard for me to pass by. And especially, like, look at these colors. They, you know, this is vegetables and flowers. I'm gonna have a huge flower garden that is gonna be a cutting garden. Uh, it's gonna, going to be in rows and, um, I bought some stalks because they're very fragrant, beautiful for bouquets. Pansies are perfect for in the shade, so easy to grow, beautiful flowers. Status, which is an incredible flower putting in bouquets for dried bouquets as well. Cylinder beets because everybody loves pickled beets and I really want to make some this year. Last year, we got a great beet crop and we're still eating them it's wonderful the rainbow blend carrots i really enjoy these all of these ones are going to be started indoors and i can't wait 
to see the little green bits coming out of the pots. There's only one little itty bitty jalapeno pepper coming up, but um, I'm hopeful.